Okay, we can already see that the content creator, like many before him in the 24 volumes previous, has selected a USB breakout board. Now, many of these content creators select these breakout boards because of the cost. They think they're doing themselves a favor by having the accessibility of USB instead of using a parallel port because that's what many of them are trying to get away from. Unfortunately, they do no actual research on how unstable universal serial bus connections are for CNC applications due to their susceptibility to voltage spikes and grounding along with EMI. Once again, I'll post the email that was in discussion with Balzus at CNC Drive, the lead manufacturer of the UC100, and you can see that for yourself. So we see that the content creator went shopping overseas, and this is where he purchased his controller access kit and that came bundled of course with the three power supplies now guys i cannot emphasize enough how bad of an idea it is to have multiple drive power supplies in a small electronics enclosure first and foremost it's not required and especially when we're dealing with sensitive electronics, all you're doing is when you're pulling more power, you're also releasing more electromagnetic interference, also known as EMI. Does it make sense to do that? Best practice is to find out how many amps each individual drive will require to supply motor that he actually selected, and then you would incorporate a power supply Pending, of course, it has the amount of amps required, you would select a single power supply to power all of the drives. Number one, it would use less real estate within his electronics enclosure, and of course, it's going to mitigate most of the EMI. Now, the thing to keep in mind, and I'm going to put this on screen, is Gecko puts together a real easy section six, it's called, of power supplies. You can see here on their site, it states that the easiest factor in choosing a power supply is its current rating, which is based on on your motor's ratings. A motor control will always draw less than two thirds of the motor's rated current when it's in parallel or half winding connected, and one third of the motor's rated current when it's in series or full winding connected. That is to say, and this is an example, a six amp per phase motor will require a four amp power supply when wired in parallel and only a two amp power supply when wired in series.